better spot to uh, record this, but here we are. Uh, I'm Nova, I am new to YouTube, so bear with me. I'm still getting the hang of it, but I just wanted to come on here because I'm about to start a huge adventure, a huge journey, um, a huge chapter in my life is about to be open, and I'm pretty much about to make the first move here, so I just wanted to uh, record it, and um, yeah, because this is, this is, first page of the chapter. Let's do it. I'm excited. So basically, let me give you a little bit of background about me. I'm Nova. I'm 25. I am currently enrolled at University of Arizona Global Campus. I'm getting my bachelor's in psychology. Um, yeah, killing it. I got a 3.94 GPA. So I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm graduating in August and then I'm not really sure where I'm going to go for my master's, but I think I'm going towards clinical psychology, pretty exciting stuff. Um, so a little bit of background about me. When I was 17, I went into the foster system. I, yeah, was homeless at 18. I actually moved in with my boyfriend at the time, his family, and was living with them for nine months. Um, we broke up like five months after we I moved in. Um, seniors shouldn't live together in high school. I don't think it's, I don't think it, have worked out very often if that happens like I, I was dealing with a lot of stuff like a lot of PTSD and panic disorder had just came about um, when I was 17 so like at that time so I was having panic attacks like every day it was really scary and just not a great um, time to be in a relationship let alone living with my boyfriend in senior year but anyway um, his mom let me stay much later because she's awesome and yeah and then after that, I decided to go to community college. So I was living out of my car for a year and a half. Um, yeah, just living out of my car, uh, pretty broke. I was working only on the weekends at Walmart until they accidentally, until I accidentally quit. Like I had filed that I was gonna quit. And then I was like, wait, no, don't like rip that paper off. I'm not actually quitting. I changed my mind. I'm gonna work here just on the weekends. And then they like put that paperwork through and fired me or like, or, and I quit like, like, but I was like, wait, I didn't want to, like I changed my mind. But anyway, so make sure you want to quit if you quit. Um, <laughs> Cause yeah, they will, you quit anyway. So yeah, that happened. And then I was really broke. Um, just real living, like counting. I remember like, so I was living in a loves gas station near my community college. It was like in a really rural area, but so I would stay in, in the Love's gas station during the weekdays because that's when I had class and I would chill in my car, you know, was learning the ukulele. I learned how to longboard actually in that parking lot. So it's pretty cool. I met some pretty cool people um, living. I had dreads at the time. Maybe I'll, I'll put a little picture here. I had dreads. I was just like, I would just chill on the back of my car in like these hippie pants, like playing my ukulele with dreads, no shoes on, like living the life. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, but also like I was homeless at 18. So like, it was kind of sad sometimes. was before I had any debt um, which is crazy because I'm I'm in a lot of debt now I have like $50,000 in student loans um, and I owe on this car so yeah like not as easy you know I've been paying for the past seven years I've been renting out um, renting my own apartment so like in between that you know there was <clears throat> I lived with boyfriends um, like they would move in or help me like with rent like we would be sharing um, but that was probably only like two out of the seven years so for five years, I've been living alone, like paying my own bills, paying my own rent, having no support, just me, just me and my, my pets. I always have pets. That's my support system. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of sad. I have like no family. I have an aunt that I talk to um, from my biological family and like her two children, so my cousins and um, my uncle. So that's like who is my family. <laughs> and then I have a biological brother that I keep in contact with, um, but he lives across the country and we don't talk too often, but yeah, that's that's my family. You know, I didn't get a, get a big one. 
I have other family. Like I know my biological family. I grew up with them, but they are just not my family, if that makes sense. Like they are, we're not friends. <laughs> Um, <laughs> they have like not helped me at all like during this journey and that's okay because I uh, can do it myself and I don't need their help but it actually took a long time for me to be able to just let them go and like ac accept that they aren't my parents so like they are not going to step up and be what I need them to be and like me being involved with their lives or trying to be involved was just hurting me in the end um, so yeah, I had to finally just say, blocked, like, you're blocked, like, that's it, bye. <laughs> like, you don't need to know anything about my life. Like, I wanted them to be really proud of me and, like, all the stuff I have accomplished and, like, they just won't be proud of me and that's okay. Um, but I shouldn't be craving the acceptance or approval of my parents when they don't care about me. So I stopped and it's been great actually. It's been really freeing since I've blocked them. I blocked them this May and I blocked them on Facebook. Like they have no way of communicating with me. Actually they do, they have my phone number. Like they just don't communicate with me and that's okay. So yeah, um, <laughs> uh, anyway. So big steps. So basically, I wanted to move to Florida. I've lived in Chicago for way too long. I grew up in Georgia. Then I moved to Chicago. I've lived here for fr for way too long, like 15 years. I'm over it. I just want to leave. I hate the cold. I hate the people here. I mean, I love them as Christ tells me to love them, but I cannot stand them. <laughs> like they're so, everyone here is so mean and selfish and terrible driving and they just don't, they don't care. Like if they cut you off and kill you, as long as they get to where they're going on time, they, like you don't matter. Your life does not matter like at all to them. And I, I just can't stand it. Like I take road trips. I took three road trips last year to, one to North Carolina, saw the Blue Ridge Mountains, and then two to um, Pensacola, Florida. And people in Florida, let me tell you, so nice. Like they're so nice. I. So I was in chronic back, I know I'm kind of jumping around, I'm sorry, I'm caffeinated. Um, but yeah, so I was just suffering from chronic back pain for three years, yeah, three years. And um, like I would cry in stores in Chicago, cause like I don't even care, like if I'm in pain, I'm just gonna cry. Like I, I used to care and now I'm just like, nope, I'm just gonna sit down here and cry, like it hurts. And people like would look at me like, like excuse you for crying in my presence like that's how they act here in chicago like they'd be looking me up and down like like the heck is her problem and like so mean and like judgmental they would be judging me for crying and then i go down to florida and like one of my my steroid shot wore down on, on my last trip down there and um I started crying in the Walmart and like seven people came up, touched my shoulder like, hey, can I help you? Is there anything you need? Can I do anything for you? Like, <laughs> I'm like, where am I? Like, this is also on this planet. There's like a place like this where people are actually not complete a-holes. Wow, I am shook. So I just love the country. I love the people down there. I love yeah, even like in Tennessee, Kentucky, like people are just way nicer than in Chicago. Chicago is like basically New York people, like rushing, they don't care about you. They will they will knock you down in the street to get past you. Like they don't care. They don't, it's just, you're not important to them. You're just another person in their way. And that's, I hate it. Um, but yeah, so I, after looking, so I have three cats. I love them so much. Um, if I didn't love them, I would just pack my car up and leave. <laughs> like I would, 100%. But I love them so much and I can't get rid of my cats. I just can't. I, I just love them so much. Like those are my children. Um, so yeah, so I looked, I looked into moving to Florida and it would cost me so much money to get my stuff down there, like two grand. And I want to get out of here now, like ASAP, like yesterday, like last year. Like I want to leave, so I I don't want to like save up six grand to make sure I have an apartment down there, and then like the logistics of moving with cats is like I have to go down there, get a job, and then get an apartment. Like you usually can't get an apartment without having a job. So I was thinking I could just rent a room, um, but that's also 
just I feel like that's just like a ripoff and you never know who you're gonna be living with and they could be a creep or they could be annoying or messy or dirty or on your case about stuff like you know I just I've lived alone for too long and like I have I'm renting out a room right now and it's going well she's she's really nice but like it's it's just not the same like it's not the same as having your own space um and like not having to worry about somebody else I don't know like my my roommate's been missing for like eight eight days now like she's she's texting me like she says she's you know with her friends or whatever but she's just gone she just left and didn't say anything and I'm like w are you okay like did you get kidnapped like she's not from this country I'm like dude like are you you have to let me know that you're gonna be gone for two weeks straight like you just I mean I'm worried like I just want to make sure she's okay and that's fine but like I don't know I miss living alone <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to fill you guys in because I feel like that backstory is like necessary so you understand why I'm making the decision to do what I'm doing. So, um, I love adventuring. I love traveling. I, Whenever I travel, I car camp usually, save money on the hotel. I can go spend that $100 or whatever on zip lighting or whatever I want to do. Um, and plus I used to live in my car so like I have no problem sleeping in my car. Um, the only thing is like this car, my part in the mess, but like it's really small. This is a Chevy Cruze 2018. So the gas mileage is like 38 uh, MPG, but it's so small that I can't like lay out. And that's going to be a problem for me because I have decided to move into my car and travel across the country. I'm excited. I want to, I've only seen like Illinois, Tennessee, Kentucky, Florida, like down that way. Um, I've seen Alabama, Georgia, that's it. Oh, and I've seen Ocean City, Maryland. So I saw Maryland, Pennsylvania. That's it, like that's all I've seen. And I want to see Wyoming and California and Arizona and Texas and Montana and Utah. I just wanna see all those places. And I was gonna just take like a small quick road trip, like, you know, take off work and take a road trip down there. But I just, oh, I'm aching for adventure. So, um, yes, yeah, X is going to keep my cats for a while while I take this hiatus and adventure. So I'm excited. But um, I was in chronic back pain for three years and I just had two procedures. I had my tailbone removed and I had my, um, my herniated disc in my low back removed. So, you know, the portion that was on the nerve. But you can see, I have another video that kind of explains that. It's very TMI, so only watch it if you really care to know how that went. <laughs> so now, like, it took my pain away. Like, it took my chronic pain away, those surgeries. My surgeon cured me of pain, and like, for now at least. And while I am pain-free, I wanna go live my life and like, experience stuff that I thought I was not going to experience again, like adventuring in my car. Um, because it was really painful to drive or sit and clearly like right now I'm having no problem um, And it's only been like five weeks post-op right now. So uh, I'm just like I have my whole life ahead of me. I'm, I have the, the spirit of adventure I can go do any, anything I want I've been given a second chance at life basically because my life was so miserable before those surgeries and now I'm I'm fresh I can do whatever I want so I am ecstatic. So I'm basically working on posting everything I own on eBay um, minus a, a select few of things that my grandparents gave me that I will be putting in storage uh, along with, you know, my tax papers and whatever important stuff and like old pictures, you know, all the stuff that's like sentimental, then I will keep in a storage unit for $25 a month. So I'm excited about that. But right now, my first movement besides starting my whole eBay shop, which my eBay shop's called Wild Spirit Thrift. If you want to go look at it, Wild Spirit Thrift, I'll leave the link in the bio. Um, but yeah, so my first my first tour today to get this on the road is to go buy a camera. I'm excited. I have never owned like a really nice camera before besides like on my phone. <laughs> like I bought this phone for the camera, um, but I'm gonna own like a camera camera, like a Canon, I think it's a Canon EOS T. To I and I'm getting it really cheap like I'm getting it dirt cheap I don't even know if this lady knows how much the camera's worth but that's okay I'm not gonna tell her um, but I'm excited I'm excited to start that I've always loved photography I've taken a couple photography classes um, where I was able to rent the camera 
Um, but yeah, I just, while I'm gonna be on the road, I wanna be able to, to do like travel photography and um, also like maybe book gigs on the way, um, just around places. Like just have that extra source of income if I need it. Yeah, that's like a little bit about me. Um, for right now, I am just working, saving up cash so that I don't have to find a job right away. I'm gonna try and find a remote position to, you know, that would be really convenient. Um, you know, I gotta save up for a Jackery. I'm saving up for like mobile hotspots and stuff like that. So that I'm not gonna be, yeah, so it's like glamping, you know? So I have like cool gadgets. When I lived in my car the first time, it was like boxes of my stuff and the trunk was full of my clothes. And that was it, like that's all I had in my car. And uh, I would just sleep in the front seat. I had, oh, I had like my longboard and a ukulele. Yeah, like it was living out of my car and now I'm going to be living in my car. So it's gonna be a bit different. Um, it's like intentional camping in my car. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited. My only thing is I hope that I can save up before, like dear, you know, and be able to leave during the summer because it's obviously super nice weather in the summer. Um, so that's my goal. I really don't want to have to wait a whole another year, but I'm also not gonna like be dumb about it. Like I have to be wise and make sure I have enough money to like, you know, for emergencies and all that um, before I leave. So yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, there's like my goal <laughs> for this next coming um, while here. So join me on this journey or don't. <laughs> Um, but you can like and subscribe, check out my eBay store, I'm trying to sell everything I own, so help me out if you can. Alright, thanks for watching.